Hello, welcome to my channel, Mains Mind. So it has been a little while. Uh, I got a cold and everything else. But while I had my cold, I made sure that I did some very nice reading. And because it's Halloween, I figured I'd do a little makeup for you all, you know, in light of, you know, Halloween slash Dia de los Muertos um, on the second. Uh, since the reason I'm kind of like mix matching here. Okay, so before we get started, I have a little guest and this is my son. He wants to pop in and say hi before I turn on my green screen. Say hi. Uh, what's up, you guys? <laughs> Remember to ring that bell and also subscribe just to let you guys know. And if you forget, I'll do it. I will remind you at the end. Goodbye. <laughs> and let's get started. So the book we're going to talk about today is The Witch Haven by Sasha Payton Smith. It came out in August of this year, so it is a really pretty new book. Um, with that being said, I'm going to give you my book review with spoilers. <laughs> so if you have not read this book yet, please pause, go read it, and come back. Okay, so for everybody else, it is such a good book. I wasn't sure if I was going to be into it. But um, especially because I was, you know, reading one series and you know how you get hooked on a series and then you got to start a new one and it's like, ugh, you know, so I started this this book and it was just really good. The writing is just beautiful writing. She gives incredible detail. There's one part where she talks about um, chill spider walking up the spine and it's like, oh, wow, I could see that. I could feel that. It was really cool. OK, <laughs> so this book starts off with your main character, Frances Holloway. And she's working in a sewing place, um, a seamstress place. And this is like 1911 New York, you know, way back when. And so she's having to sew a dress and she gets stuck, th stuck there late at night. But before then, she talks about Mr. Hughes. Now, Mr. Hughes is a store owner, but he's a total perv. Um, I mean, they even describe one little part where he walks in and they're like, he grins, you know, they're all hesitant. They don't want to get up to her and the other girls that are working there. And so finally she's like, Ugh, I got to get up. So she gets up and he's like, morning. And when he says that, she talks about the spider. Ugh, ugh, it just gave me chills. She gets stuck late at night. You know, he's just this perv and it's just gross. So she gets stuck there late at night trying to finish this one jacket or coat or something. And he comes in and he's drunk and he kind of attacks her. And somehow these scissors go soaring across the room and stab him in the neck and kill him. And it's like, oh my gosh. You know, so... <laughs> She goes to bed trying to act like everything's normal, but of course everything is not normal. So she ends up, um, the police end up questioning her and everything else. So she, long story short, she ends up at Haxa Haven Sanatorium where these witches um, pretend like she's got tuberculosis and they take her in there and it turns out to be a school for witches. Um, so she starts training there and at first everything's fine. You know, she's training, she finds out she's a witch and magic is real and she makes some friends and... And then she starts wanting more. She's trying to find out because her brother had died. And so she was trying to find out who murdered her brother. But then she ended up in this sanatorium. And so she's just kind of like there. And she really wants to still find out who murdered her brother. But she's stuck learning this magic. And she's like irritated because she's like, magic should be able to do all this other stuff. Why do I have to learn to do practical magic like sewing and sweeping and doing dishes and stuff? So, um... She starts getting these notes talking about, like, you know, who killed her brother. Um, and so she's kind of trying to find out who did this. Well, eventually she gets led into the woods to meet this guy, Finn. And Finn is this guy that supposedly has been dreaming about her his whole life. He has the ability to walk into dreams. And he agrees to teach her magic and help her find her brother and the other side. And they go through all these little adventures to try to reach this point. Um... She ends up going to the school that Finn is at and it's like this big old thing where Finn ends up trying to like, well, I won't ruin it for you too much, um, but well, it's a really great story. Uh, she's got her two friends, Maxine and Lena and, you know, there's the evil Miss Helen, who's just this really, ugh, 
kind of lady. I don't know. She's just kind of mean. She's one of those ladies that are just kind of like, no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to like her. Um, and then you have um, the matron of the school, Vykoski. Miss Vykoski. Miss Vykoski is an interesting character. Kind of makes you wonder how old she really is because she talks about going to school with the mom. And, but they describe her as this really old lady and she's at war with Count, or what is it, Boss Olin, who's the one over the, the Sons of Saints, something or another. And so he's over that school. And so they're actually, they like know each other and they're like at war with each other um, because they got history. And so um, and there's a lot of really unique characters in this story. And you can really relate to some of them and you can really feel the mean girl, you know, aspect of the story. Um, you kind of sympathize with her at some point. I was like, no, stupid. <laughs> I was like, you're, 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 you're falling into a trap, you know, but mm, you know, she's got to, <laughs> otherwise what would make the story so interesting? So it was definitely a really great story and I highly recommend it. Uh, if you haven't read it yet, like I said, I'm sorry for ruining some of it, but I promise I didn't spoil it enough to ruin the whole story. Just a little bit. Um, so yeah, go check it out. Um, and while you're out there in the world, please remember that I have two stories on Kindle Vela. I have Alpha Rising Moon and Dragon Guard. I'm a little behind on my Dragon Guard, but I will get caught up. Um, and Alpha Rising Moon, I am planning on making that a book that should come out in December. So keep your eyes open for that. I'm sure I'll post it on here. So I will have that up on Amazon and I will keep you all updated. Uh, as always, please don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you... I'm sorry. I forgot my guest was supposed to. I'm going to turn off my green screen now. Come on. Okay. Just to remind you from the start, just remind, just remember, before you leave this video, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Ring the bell. And also ring the bell. And if you forget that again, then just, and if you forget that again and you don't do it, just go back to this video and do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Or go to any video. All right. Um, so until next time, see you later, my friends.